Hello and welcome to my channel where I dive into the ins and outs of different CAD programs and what you can do with them. At the moment I'm looking at Autodesk Inventor and today more specifically we're going to be taking a look at this iLogic powered program that I created in one of my previous jobs. So while I was working the job I was tasked daily to create a drawing package for what is known as a transom and that is what you can see here. Lots of these transoms in a line with a belt running over the top of them would create what is essentially a really big conveyor belt used for moving aggregate in quarries. So when I was tasked to do such a thing, typically I'd go about creating all these parts one by one from scratch or by making amendments to a previous model that I'd made for a previous transom. This would all take a lot of time and became quite boring because I was doing the same thing day in, day out. Then I discovered iLogic and the limitless possibilities that come along with it. iLogic is a coding language specific to Inventor, or I believe it is, I'm not too sure if it's used in any other programs. With iLogic and a Excel spreadsheet, I was able to automate these 3D models, but not just the 3D models, I was also able to semi-automate the drawings too. This left me with very little work to do after the fact and helped me increase my productivity tenfold. So what I've done, is I've used a Excel spreadsheet to select my parameters for the transom and that's what you'll see at the top here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna play with some of these numbers and then we're gonna take a look at what happens after I save it. So once I save it, the program will then begin to update. This tends to take a while. That's actually moved quite fast because I have not coded this very well. I am no coder and have coded this program horribly inefficiently. Nonetheless though, it still works, and even after years of not using the program and inventor updates. So once I click this lightning bolt at the top, that's me updating the model, and you'll see that the whole model jumps, and the whole drawing jumps, and this just shows that everything is updated. So like I said before, this has basically automated it, because I was tasked with creating these on a daily basis, and uh, yeah, it's essentially done. All I would need to do is to just scale this down, but I've actually tried to automate that before with the scale rule, but uh, apparently it doesn't appear to be working. The whole idea behind me showing you this is to hopefully spark some kind of idea for someone watching this or to simply let people know that this is a possibility. I basically automated my job, so why can't you? Although it is worth mentioning that I soon left the company, I got very bored very quickly once I'd essentially mastered what was possible within the company's products. Anyway, here's a look into the code behind it. Each one of these is another page worth of code. There is a lot of it. Like I said, there is not, there, there's not one piece of efficiency within this code. I repeated the same thing over and over again, and it took me a total of nearly 200 hours to write this all out. And this isn't the extent of it. There's actually a lot more code inside each of these parts as well. So each of the parts has its own code, and then the assembly has its own code as well, which is used to uh, connect them all together properly. And uh, once you know you get all this code together and then you ask it to perform a function, so if I just change the size of this, it has to then scan through all of that code at one time, and you see it's taken a while, it's loading, and now we got there. And there's my change. So definitely better ways of doing this, but nonetheless it works. So if you're looking to begin building CAD skills for your future as an engineer, designer, architect, or anything else, then check the link in the description. This is the course I've created aimed at beginners meant to build a strong foundation for Inventor in which you can then begin growing your skills with. The course offers a wide range of lessons teaching you about the majority of tools and basics in the world of Inventor. Throughout the course, you'll create a workshop vice and you create the parts and the assembly and then the drawings and this is just another way of helping you solidify everything that you learn along the way. Anyway, if you're interested, click the link in the description and enroll now to fast track your success. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.